so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah! It's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah, this is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <gasps> I am so excited. Come on. So excited to go on a wildlife safari! Oh, and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> oh, look at it. It has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding in the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa, and look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Uh, my name is Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the safari park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well, we are really excited to go on a safari. All right. Can we sit inside? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah. So keep us dry and away from the sun. And so many seats. Woo. <laughs> we're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Special safari gear. Whoa, safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> look, we have binoculars. Oh, we're seeing really far away. <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> and don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent. You look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Do <laughs> you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> oh, they are giraffes. <laughs> and they are so cute. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari. <laughs> hmm, do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small. Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. She's 16 days old. Whoa, Ooh, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's gonna keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa, <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty and so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually, they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> That's a really cool word. What's an ossicone? Well, think of it sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow. Those ossicones are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? 
Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah, they have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh, hmm. hmm. It also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do, they hear very, very well. And eyesight's pretty amazing too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they gotta watch out. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh, <laughs> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh, hello giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Ooh. He's saying, hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Whoa. They also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals. Maybe we'll find a platypus. <laughs> you won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari. Come look. Whoa, <laughs> look at him. What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe-eared oryx. Whoa, fringe-eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, do you see? They have really big horns on their heads. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa. And look, they have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Hmm, they're so cool. And they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these orcs run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they need to to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of orcs. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, and do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello! <laughs> These orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking! <laughs> Hey, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> Marco, what kind of animal is this? Uh, you're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, they have really big horns. Whoa, <laughs> why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. <laughs> hmm, I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Pulpy. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell, really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. 
Oh. And so hungry. Oh. Do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass. And these guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they got to eat all that food. Whoa. Three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow! They sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah, they're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs. It helps <laughs> with sunblock like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't oh. need the hat, they got their mud. Wow! It's so amazing. Yeah, they roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, get dirt, dust on their back. Kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew, looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey, do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal, and they can run up to 70 miles per hour. <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah, let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> it was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. I am so excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? Uh, this is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Oh, this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold. <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he does. He sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got stacked for that day. Woo! <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer. <laughs> How's it going? Hello? Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa. He keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up set particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> it sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. <laughs> I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa. But this snake is so cool. Hmm. <laughs> what type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Oh, that's a great question, but you know, pythons are generally found in the old world. So Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do. Yeah, this predator is a constrictor, so he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters, but we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife pair specialist. <laughs> like my good friend, Marco. Oh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. Wow, hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> What's well, a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye bye <laughs> Hey, what other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye bye Wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> we saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? One of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow. I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Whoa. Whoa, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Whoa! Did you see that? Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> wow! I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. <laughs> Whoa, so beautiful. Well, right now we wanna wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal, <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. We should go say hi. But we need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. <laughs> hi. He's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> Get him a little closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Wow, Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, he's so beautiful. His eyes look so big. Can he see really well? well they see so well. He can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow, that is one amazing bird. Well. We better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bopi. I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. We saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal. I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. 
Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Not why I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. Last piece. Whoa! That was amazing! Marco, what kind of animal was that? Wow, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lantern falcon, both found in Africa, and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're gonna show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa! I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa. That last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow, this owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa, her feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm, do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah, just like the snake. Look, this little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa, her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right, so she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime, help her catch her little prey items. Whoa, you remember that word? Yeah, nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> yep. Well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one to share with you right now. Oh, wow, yeah. that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and eats vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Oh, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big <laughs> and colorful. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa, a West African? Whoa, wait, can you see that? <laughs> oh yeah, East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name. <laughs> A really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> Whoa, and what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. <laughs> yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers, so they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying. She's got feathers to keep her warm. She's even got feathers to attract a mate. But those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. Wow, <laughs> a grown-up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals. And she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department. And she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, these birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs>
Thanks, Marco. Yeah, no problem, Flippy. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> it feels like we're in the jungle. Woo. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa, you see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Look, he's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> this tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. Yeah. Tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores. That means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food, and back teeth that help chew the food. <laughs> Boo! It's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, maybe he's not gonna eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> Sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa, look at him walk. Whoa, <laughs> he was moving really fast. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals. <laughs> but we still need to find the platypus. <laughs> We're gonna find him, I just know it. Look at who I have here. This is Bee, <laughs> and Bee's my friend. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, Bee is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo, and she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Ruya. Ooh, <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa, <laughs> look. Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet. And they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet. And a really big toe. Yeah, they have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa. <laughs> You want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want some lettuce? <gasps> mm. Took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, B likes to hop. <laughs> Ooh, there's a treat. <laughs> I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Hey, Bee, do you want another treat? Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah. And they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. They gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, look 
at what it is. They're Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like me, the wallaby, except they're not wallabies, <laughs> they're kangaroos. Mm -hmm. They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go see if they want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey. Do you want a tasty treat? Some gruya. Isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa! Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. Oh, <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa! Look at them! Whoa! These kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah! You see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look! Their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa, that's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa, yeah, or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't want to get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look. A little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa! They're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs. <laughs> Whoa! And that's where little Joey's <laughs> Baby kangaroos like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch. Whoa! <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. <laughs> Whoa! Isn't that so yummy? <laughs> really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun getting to see some western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's the platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. It's really dark, but I know we can find it. Come on. Whoa. We found the platypus. <laughs> Look at him swimming around. His bill looks just like a duck. Ooh, <laughs> and his body like a little otter. Whoa, and look at his tail. It looks just like a beaver's tail. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, he's swimming under a log. <laughs> he loves to swim. Ooh, hello. Ooh, ooh, we made it outside. That was amazing. We got to see the platypus swimming around. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for helping me find him. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> I 
I had so much fun going on a safari with you. We saw so many amazing animals. Hey, what was your favorite animal we saw today? <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> and you guess what's happening today? It has to do with games. Yes. But not just one game, <laughs> lots of games. Wow. <laughs> because we're going to play the biggest, the coolest, <gasps> most fun, most ultimate, Blippi and Game Show. show. <laughs> yeah. Two teams will be on either team, Mika. <laughs> Team Blippi. <laughs> and they'll play challenges and fun trivia games, all for a chance to win an awesome prize! prize. <laughs> well, are you ready, Team Captain Mika? I'm ready, Team Captain Blippi. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Are you ready for, for the, the game, game show? With Blippi and Mika. Yeah! Come on, let's go! Come along and play. Let's have fun. It's time for us to introduce Team Blippi! <laughs> Before we get started, I wanted to ask, what are your names? I'm Graham. Oh, nice to meet you, Graham. Nice to meet I'm you. Abby. Hi, Abby. Hi, Mom and Dad. And what are your names? <laughs> Oliver. Oliver and? Lucy. Oh, that's a nice name. Well, Lucy and Oliver, how old are you two? Eight years old. Oh, eight and? I'm five. Five! Whoa! <laughs> and I know how old Mom and Dad are, too. <laughs> old and older! Oh. <laughs> silly. Oh, and I have a really, really, really tricky question for all of you. Oh. What is your favorite dinosaur? Ooh. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Lucy? Um, Sagasaurus. Oh, yeah, I like those, too. They have big plates on their back. <laughs> okay, time to meet Team Mika! <laughs> what are your names? I'm Haven. Hey, Haven. Mila. Hi, Mila. And Paris. I'm Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Brittany. Hey, Brittany. And how old are you, Haven and Mila? I'm seven. Seven? I'm four. Whoa! And my question to you is, what's your favorite holiday? Easter. Ooh! Christmas. Oh, so festive! <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like we're about to start Philippi and Mika's Game Show! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, and this is gonna be a lot of fun. It sounds like everybody's ready. We're gonna play games with dinosaurs uh -huh, and, and with construction cool... vehicles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be a blast. <laughs> so first, let's play a game of rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Mm -hmm. So Haven and Oliver, step right up. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors go! go! <gasps> oh, scissor beats paper. Yeah. So Team Mika goes first. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> Are we ready to start the first game? Yeah! First up is the Bouncing Bonanza. In this game, one contestant will make their way through the obstacle course as fast as they can. But along the way, they'll need to collect four flags before they can exit the obstacle course. Don't forget to look for those flags, Blippi! After finishing the obstacle course, the contestant will run to this spot where they'll choose between two buckets above two teammates' heads. One is full of ball pit balls, and the other is filled with water. Whoa! <laughs> I sure did get soaked. At the end of each game, there will be a chance for a bonus trivia question. Let's get started! First up, Team Mika. All right, Haven, are you ready? Yeah. Three, <laughs> two, two, one! Here we go! Go Haven! Whoa! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, look at her go! Go Haven! Oh, Woo! Haven, you got it! Whoa, find all the flags! Find the flags! Hmm, this is tricky. Look above you! Look up! You see it? Oh, you got a flag! She found a flag! Go, Haven! Yeah! Haven, there's another one! 
Vikings, they're back this way. Oh, Ethan, check over there. Maybe to your left? On that blue? Definitely some tricky flags to find. Hayden's doing a great job. Oh, look! She found the flag! Woo! She found the flag! She's coming! Woo! Go, Hayden! Woo! Yeah! Go, Hayden! Go! You got it! You got it! Oh, you got it! Great job! Go! seconds uh -huh. to answer, and you can guess as many times as you want. All right, here goes. Team Mika, what planet do we live on? Okay, talk yeah. together as a family. Earth! Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. You got the trivia yeah. question right! Awesome job, Team Woo Mika! Next up, Team Flippy. Okay, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Three, Three, two, one, go! Whoa, here we go! He has to get all those flags. I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa, keep going. I know you can get all the flags. Very tricky because of all the orange blue. Whoa. 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 How many flags do you have? Oh, that's okay. Here, let's go back. We'll start again. We'll start again. Woo. Here we go. Woo. Whoa, this is a really tricky game. Okay, you're close. Really warm, warm, warm. Cold, 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 cold! Right by your hand! <laughs> Look up. Hey, Oliver! Huh, it looks like there's something almost... Yeah, it's another flag! Two more to go! <laughs> Whoa, Oliver, near your head! Light bulb idea! Look right there! It's another flag! Jump really high! Woo! You got it! Keep going, and there's one more back here! One more! Check behind the blue! Oh, it's on one of the blue balls, but which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, did you find it? You have it! He has all four flags! Let's go! Woo! Whoa! Here we go! Woo! <laughs> Whoa, Dad, you sure do look wet. <laughs> okay, and now it's time for the trivia question. Okay, you have 30 seconds to guess, and you can make as many guesses as you want within those 30 seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> How many days are in a week? Are you ready with your answer? Seven! <laughs> Go Team Blippi! I think it's time for the next game! Yeah! Let's play the Big Smash Handy! This challenge is all about construction vehicles! What contestant will use this construction vehicle to go through the obstacle course to get to the sand pit? Once they've made it to the sand pit, they need to dig up letters to spell their team captain's name. Either... Mika! <laughs> or my name, Flippy! <laughs> Yeah, and once they've dug up all the letters, you'll take the letters to the board and place them correctly to spell the team captain's name. Yes, <laughs> but remember, it's a race against the clock. So the team that completes the challenge the fastest wins. Woo! <laughs> team Mika. Okay, Mila, pedal to the metal when I blow the whistle. Okay, you ready? Three, two, two one. one.
have a lot of numbers, but I think mom and dad should help. Let's go, I'm Ohio! Whoa! We're Winnipeg Parents! Oh, we got the letter! We got the A! Yeah! Awesome job, Kyle! There we go! Go, Brittany! Go, go Brittany! Hey, but look! There's another letter! Is this the right letter? Name an animal with stripes that are black and white. Zebra! Oh, zebra! Oh, zebra! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great, Great job, everyone. Job, zebra. <laughs> Next up, Team Blippi. Okay, now it's time for Team Blippi. Three, two, one. Go! Go, go Lucy! Go, Lucy! Go! go. Lucy. go. go. Yeah. Here we go! Woo. Yeah. We have an L yeah. and an I. Three, four more letters to go. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, not an O. Just there to throw you off. A one, a four. A one and a four. Yeah, it's pretty tricky to spell Blippi with one, zero, four. <laughs> What's that? Okay. All right, parents, you can help dig in. Three, two, one, go! Go! Two more letters, okay. keep Blippi, keep searching. Time. And now it's time for the trivia question! Yeah. Yeah. All right, Team Blippi, you have 30 seconds to answer! Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. What do caterpillars turn into? Ooh, good question. Okay, are you ready? We got it, we got it. Butterfly! Yeah, that's right, we did it! It's time to go to the next game! for the Dino Egg Quest! <laughs> <laughs> this is a timed relay race with four challenges. Uh -huh. Woo! First up is the Raptor Roll. <laughs> One contestant goes over to the giant roller and tries to stay on course. Uh -huh. Then the next contestant will take a dinosaur egg on a spoon and race it around the kiddie pool and back. But if the dinosaur egg falls, they cannot pick it up with their hands. They can only use the spoon. No hands. Mm -hmm. Once they make it to the tag point, they place the egg on the finish line, uh -huh. and then the next contestant is off to the Stegosaurus Sea Surge! Well, they'll <laughs> jump into a kiddie pool full of water beads and toys and find this little buddy! Whoa! Once you have it, hurry up and cross the finish line. <laughs> then it's time for the trivia question. And don't worry if you don't get the first question right. Mm -hmm. We'll ask another and another until you do. Right! <laughs> Ready? Ready! Let's play! Yeah. <laughs> Team Mika. Woo yeah. Well, I think we're ready for the next game. Yeah. Mom, get to your spot. Time for the Raptor Roll. Okay, roll. here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Go, Mom, go. Go, 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 Okay, I'm good. Great job, Haven. Okay, Dad, you're next. See 
We gotta find the ticket source. All right, hey, man. Cross the finish line. Trivia question, Mila. We found it. How many letters are in Mika's name? Five. Oh, okay. Five. That's close. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> what is a planet that starts with the letter M? Mars. 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 We did it. Yeah. Team Mika finish and time. Woohoo! Bonus trivia time. It's trivia time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, All guys. right, Team Mika. <laughs> What color are most bees? Hmm. Yellow and black. Great! Yeah. 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 Next up, Team Flippy. Woo! All right, Team Flippy. Yeah. All right, Gray, head back to the raptor roll, and we'll get started. Woo! Let's do it. <laughs> okay, are you ready to count it down, Mika? Oh yeah! Three, two, one, go! You can do it, Dad. Make it around the pool. Great job! Go down, go down, down. Coming around. And you get out. Go down, go down. Keep Raptor on the ground. Yeah. Here we go. Go, go Dad, go. Go, go, go Dad, go. 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 Just need to find the stegosaurus. Okay, there's a lot of dinosaurs here in the pool. What does a stegosaurus look like again? Oh, oh yeah, it has those bony plates on its back. Let's see if we can find it. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> That's not a stegosaurus. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Is a brontosaurus. Well, we finished the games. Hmm. It's time to add up the score. Yeah! Let's go! You want to know who won? Oh, yeah! Wait! This just in! Even if you didn't win, you have a chance to win the prize by answering a bonus trivia question! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I think we should see what the score is. Let's go! Mm -hmm. All right, for Bouncing Bonanza, Team Mika gets one point! Woo! Yeah. And we also got the trivia, so we get another point! Yeah! For a bouncing bonanza. How'd you do, Team Blippy? Team Blippy, <laughs> we get some orange glasses because oh, we got nice. the trivia right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for game number two, Smash, Smash and dig. dig. The winner of this game is Team Blippy. Yeah. 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 Smash and Dig was really fun, and you get <laughs> one pair of orange glasses for the game. Yeah. And a second for the trivia question. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's fun. Oh, Miko, All what about right. game three? For the Dino Egg Quest, the winner is 
Team Blippi! Yeah. Here we go, Team Blippi, and we also got the trivia question yeah. right! Yeah. We got another All right, and Team Mika gets another bow for the trivia! Yeah. Okay, it's time to tally the score. All right. For Team Mika, we have... Let's see. One, two, three, four points. Yeah. Yeah. And for Team, Team Blippi, we have... One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. Team Blippi wins. Yeah. yeah. And it's time for the prize. Woo. Congratulations to both teams. Woo. trivia question. Fill in the missing theme song lyric. So much to learn, blank. It'll make you want to shout. So much to learn about. Yeah! Yeah! They get a year membership to, to Discovery, Discovery Cube. Cube. Yeah, that's a really fun science museum. <laughs> Discovery Cube is a children's museum, the perfect place to be curious and learn through play. Woohoo! Well, thanks so much for playing, but I think this calls for a Dance party! Dance party. for playing Blippi and Mika's game show. Woo! It was so much fun! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, everyone ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Good job! Can you spell my name with yeah. us? Mm -hmm. M-E-E-K-A-A! Me, Blippi. Today, we're gonna learn about some construction vehicles. They are so big and powerful. Can you guess which construction vehicle this is? Let's go find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today, I'm in Tenino, Washington, at a ranch. Yeah, check it out, all this beautiful grass. Wow. Hey, but today, we're gonna explore a machine. Let me give you some hints on what machine this is. So, it's a machine that you can use in this big open field. Yeah, for crops, yeah. It starts with the letter T. You can have a lot of attachments on it. <laughs> Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. This is a tractor. Whoa, tractors are so cool. Typically, you use them on farms and ranches. They get so much work done. Hey, check it out. Whoa, do you see this? This is a big bucket, and it can scoop a lot of dirt and gravel and things like that. Whoa. Wow. These are the bucket arms, which help lift the bucket. Whoa. Right here. These are the hydraulic hoses, which help tilt and scoop things up and lift up the bucket. Oh, and you know what this is. Yeah, this is where you fill up the tractor with fuel. And this tractor doesn't take gas, it takes diesel. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that right there is the cab. 
here. Go on to the other side. Let's go. Whoa. Hey, this tractor, yeah, has one big wheel and tire. Yeah. Whoa, look at this over here. Now this is a big wheel and tire. Hey, did you notice? It has one wheel and tire, two wheel and tires, and the other side have two more. So that means two plus two equals four. Yeah, good job. Wow, check out the back of the tractor. Yeah, this is a mower attachment. Wow! On the back right here, there's some blades. And this attaches to the tractor. And this is what you use to go across grass like this, chop it down, and then you have a nice yard to play in. Woohoo! <laughs> but hey, tractors have a lot of attachments they can have, like augers, or balers, or hay fluffers. Wow! That is awesome! Hey, now I think we should head inside and drive the tractor. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Yeah, we're inside the cab of the tractor. Okay, first things first. Yeah, safety first. Yep, that means we have to wear our seat belt. Perfect. All right, there we go. Now that we're all buckled up, we can take the key and put it in the ignition and start it up. But for now, let me show you all the things in here. Yeah, down here, these are the brakes of the tractor. Yeah, those are what you put your feet on so then you stop the tractor in its tracks or tires. <laughs> yeah, and this right here, this is the steering wheel. This is how you operate and drive the tractor. <laughs> yeah. And this handle right here, you pull back to lift up the bucket. You push forward to put the bucket down. And left and right is to dump out the dirt. <laughs> I think we should go get the dirt. All right, let's turn it on and test out the horn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Woohoo! She's purring like a kitty. Meow. This tractor is so useful. Good job! <laughs> Whoa! Isn't that a cool machine? Yeah, it was so fun operating and driving that tractor. Wow, what a useful machine that you can use on farms and ranches. Whoa, so cool. So many attachments and so many uses. Yeah! 
Yeah, we learned about a tractor. Construction vehicles are awesome. Can you guess what this construction vehicle is? It has huge wheels. Let's go find out. Wow, check out this machine. Do you know what machine this is? Yeah, it looks kind of like a truck, but it has a giant bed or a box right here, which has a lot of material in the back and it dumps it out. Wait a second, that must mean it's a dump truck. Yeah, dump trucks are awesome. Whoa, look up here. So big. Wow, this is where the engine is. Wow, that's a big engine. You need a massive engine because you need a lot of power to lift up the box. Whoa, check these out. Yeah, you know what these are. Yeah, these are wheels and tires. Whoa, this vehicle is really cool because in back, there's a lot of them. I'll show you that now. But first, we need to check out the cab. Whoa, this is where the operator sits. Whoa, check it out. There's a lot of things in there, just like a normal vehicle. A steering wheel, some, yeah, some lights. There's also a mirror. There's a key to start it. Yeah, and a bunch of gauges and gadgets. So then you can operate it. Whoa! But this machine needs a lot of fuel to run. Yeah, I called it fuel because it's not gas, it's diesel. Whoa! Whoa! Look! Yeah, do you see how many wheels and tires this vehicle has? Look, there's two right here. <laughs> Normally, they only have one in the front and one in the back, but this has two in the back. Yeah, and that is multiplied by two <laughs> because it's on each side. So that means on one side, there is one, two, three, yeah. And you can add three on this side to the other side. Three plus three, yeah, is six. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, these are called mud flaps. Woohoo! Because they flap <laughs> like a dog's ear. Woohoo! Actually, what it's used for is so then mud doesn't fling out to the vehicles trailing it. Yeah, and look at this. This is the tailgate of the dump truck. When you lift up the load, then it dumps it all out. And I think that's what we should do now. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome.
two machines? Yeah, the excavator is loading up the dump truck. Wow, what great teamwork. Whoa, those are some big scoops that us excavator is putting in that dump truck. Whoa, wow. It looks nice and full. I sure do love dump trucks. They're so tall, so powerful, and so useful on the job site. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Whippy!